Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we all know, Barak 8 is an Indian Israeli surface to air missile designed to defend against multiple aerial threats. It is developed by a consortium of Israeli and Indian enterprise spearheaded by Israel Aerospace and DRDO. Missiles are produced by India's state-owned Bharat Dynamics Limited BDL. The latest version of this missile, Barak ER, as a part of integrated Barak MX, have been developed without cooperation with India. This missile was offered to India, however, it was rejected because DRDO has planned to nearly double the range of Barak 8 indigenously. This little background was also needed to understand how DRDO is planning to build an air defense system similar to the Russian famous S-400 system which will be called ERATS or Extended Air Defense System. As a part of DRDO's Extended Air Defense System, two missiles will be developed. The first one is going to be indigenous version of Barak-8 missile called ER-SAM and second one is going to be XR-SAM. The ER-SAM missile will be a spin-off from Barak-8 missile which has three versions MR-SAM, LR-SAM and ER-SAM. The first two missiles are already in service and ER-SAM is under development. The missiles are propelled by a dual-stage smokeless pulsed rocket motor that can help them to attain maximum speed of Mach 3. These missiles uses GPS S-band two-way data link for mid-course guidance and active radar seeker at terminal stage. MRSAM has close to 70% indigenous components. The interception range and altitude of MRSAM is 70 km and 16 km, while that of LRSAM it's 100 km and 16 km respectively. Talking about the underdevelopment ERSAM, which will be part of DRDO's ERADS, it will have an interception range and altitude of 150 km and 30 km respectively. This missile will be similar to Barak ER missile in terms of capability, but completely in-house designed and developed by DRDO. The next missile is XRSAM, which is going to have an interception range and operational range of 350 km and 80 km respectively. The missile will have a range of 250 to 300 km against fighter jets, 350 to 400 km against cruise missiles, sea skimming anti ship missiles, AVOX, and mid air refuelers, and will be capable of bringing down ballistic missiles and stealth fighters in the terminal stage. The naval version of this missile might also be developed to supplement LRSAM missile in the Indian Navy. The missile is likely to be operational by 2024. This missile is also planned to be used in conjunction with S-400 system. We have discussed in detail about the ERSAM and XRSAM, the two missiles to be used in ERADS system. Now we'll talk about other components. Each ERADS firing unit will consist of four ERADS launcher, one S-band search and track radar, one X-band fire control radar, one X-band mast mounted radar for low flying target tracking. Each launcher of ERADS will carry two ERSAM and two XRSAM missiles. In total, its firing unit will have 8 ERSAM and 8 XRSAM missiles in ready to fire condition. ERADS is almost like S400 system in terms of capability, barring few differences. The S400 has 4 different missiles for different role and range, whereas ERADS will have only 2 of them for engagement at long range and medium range. Also, the maximum range of ERADS for the engaging targets will be 350 km while that of S-400 is 400 km. But these small capability gaps can be easily filled with further extending the XR-SAM range and integrating Akash and QR-SAM missiles.
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.